Hello guys, welcome again to our revision session of expanding and simplifying and this is mainly suitable for those who are doing their grade 9 as well as doing their mathematics N1. If you are also preparing of course for your N2 and your grade 10 and you don't have a good foundation, this is a very very good foundation for you if ever you are struggling and battling with your simplification as well as expansion. So now let us look into our lesson in this case. As I said, this is expansion and simplifying. And there is a question which says, um, example, remove the brackets and simplify the following. So we need to remove the bracket, meaning to open up the bracket is to expand. And then after that, we need to simplify. So this is what we are given in this case. And how do you remove uh, this particular bracket? As I said, this is just a short lesson for you. I have done part one of this lesson. I will encourage you to grab hold of it so that it can make sense now what we are doing here. Now, let, up, let me do a second version of uh, or a second method that sometimes I think is more suitable. Instead, in the previous lesson, what I did is I was multiplying the Y will multiply that and it will multiply that and it will multiply that and the minus 3 was multiplying that and it was multiplying that and it was multiplying that so this is what I, I used in the previous method but another method we can do is we can take this y to multiply everything that is in this bracket so in this case I will have y multiplying y squared minus 3y minus 10 are you seeing that and then i can also have minus 3 here multiplying also everything in this bracket which will be minus 3 multiplying again y squared minus 3y minus 10 so you can see the two sections i have got y multiplying the the, in, the, the 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 other bracket I've got minus 3 multiplying the other bracket so when you do that what you are saying is you are saying in this case y times y squared and y times minus 3 and y times minus 10 so if I write it down I have y times y squared and then I've got plus now the sign that I'm using is the sign for y as you can see it is positive so that is where I'm getting the positive to say plus y times negative 3y again plus y times negative 10 so that is basically what we're doing and then we do the same thing with minus 3 and the minus 3 will multiply that and multiply that as well as multiply that so what I'll be having will be minus 3 times y squared you take the sign of minus 3 times minus 3y and minus 3 times negative 10 so that's what we're, we're saying and when you start to multiply y times y squared there are now three of them because there is one day one plus two they are, they are now three plus now I've got y times minus 3y remember a negative and a positive when they are multiplying the negative is power so it must be not a positive but it's supposed to be a negative 3y squared why because it's y times y is y squared now 1 times minus 3 is minus 3 and then I've got y times minus 10 which is negative 10y so this is what I have in this case when I was multiplying uh, by uh, y and then I move on to say now minus 3 times y is minus 3y squared minus 3 times minus 3y a negative and a negative gives us a positive when you multiply it so it's positive 9y and then minus 3 times minus 10 a negative and negative is positive uh, 3 times 10 is 30 then at this stage we need to collect our like terms and when we're collecting our like terms you need to check 
um, we have in this case y cubed alone so we can write therefore we have got y cubed and then if you check properly you have in this case minus 3y squared minus 3y squared which is common so you bring it together minus 3y squared minus 3y squared and then after that if you check again you have the minus 10y plus 9y which is negative 10y plus 9y being common and lastly is to check on the numbers and it is only 30 that is uh, remaining so you say plus 30 so that is how we group at this stage that is what we mean when you say collect like terms so i want you to notice when we are collecting like terms the numbers must move i mean the the, the express the items or the terms they must move with the sign so you can see that minus 3y squared moved with the sign it was negative so it moved also with a um, negative sign the plus 9 moved with the sign plus 30 moved with the sign minus 10y so even if you are arranging you move with the sign and when you simplify to get the final answer you will then have in this case y cubed now minus 3 minus 3 you can use a calculator if you want to check that is minus 3 minus 3 it gives you minus 6 and then also minus 10 plus 9 it gives you minus 1 because the negative is power so you have got here minus 6 y squared minus 1 y and plus 30 so you have managed to simplify remember they say expand or open the bracket in this case they say remove the bracket and simplify the following so what i do as a way of testing now my answer as i say how do i test if ever i did the right thing so testing what i do i choose any value of y in this case i can say let y be equal to um, let me choose five in this case so where there is y i put a five i put a five i put a five so if i use a calculator so notice how i use the five properly so you have bracket five minus three close the bracket and then you've got five squared minus three into five or three times five minus ten and then you close that bracket it gives me my answer as zero in that case so you saw that here I'm getting an answer of zero. When I take the same value of five into the final answer here, where there is y, I put a five, I put a five, I put a five. If I did it properly, it must also give me the same answer that I got on the other, on the first uh, example on top, which in this case is equal to five. So I will have five cubed minus 6 into 5 squared and then I have got minus 1 into 5 plus 30 and then you see I'm also getting a 0 in here so which means the answer that I got after simplifying is also correct so this is how you can test sometimes to see did I do the right simplification and did I not make any errors so this is how we can approach it guys we have come to the end of our lesson thank you